Also developing this afternoon, a break in the case nearly two months after four college students were murdered in Idaho. The feds making an arrest. A suspected killer now behind bars. 28-year-old Brian Koberger arrested Friday in Scranton, Pennsylvania, more than 2,500 miles away from the scene of the crime in Idaho, where officials say he is connected in the murders of four college students. On November 13th, the body of the four students were found in a home off campus. All of them, police say, were stabbed to death. Investigators say they were likely asleep at the time of the attacks. The attacks sending a chilling effect throughout this small college town. They were the first murders in seven years. It's been a heavy heart. Uh, you can feel it from every person you interact with to the people you walk by. No one would have ever imagined something slightly like this could happen in Moscow, Idaho, in such a small town. Fears of a repeat attack prompted nearly half of the University of Idaho students to switch to online classes for the remainder of the semester, abandoning their dorms and apartments. Safety concerns also had the university hiring additional security to escort students across campus, with the Idaho State Police sending troopers to help short patrol the city's streets. This incident has shaken our community, has continued to shake our community, and we continue to mourn for the victims. Police spending weeks trying to piece together the four victims' final hours and asking for the public's help in finding a mysterious white car seen near the time of the murders after a six-week investigation and apparent breakthrough. Just a few moments ago, officials did speak about the arrest in a news conference for the first time. Listen. These murders have shaken our community, and no arrest will ever bring back these young students. However, we do believe justice will be found through the criminal process. The suspected killer, Koberger, will be held in a Pennsylvania jail, and he will be extradited to Idaho.